Now the World Athletics Championships begin tomorrow in Budapest until later this month. And South Africa earlier this week sent a strong 36-member uh, team, well, Team SA, to represent the country there and hopefully fly the flag with distinction. There hasn't been any medals for South Africa in the last couple of editions of the World Athletics Championships in the USA and uh, in Doha as well. The last time that we had any silverware was in London six years ago. And that, on that occasion, we came back with six medals. And I'm joined by one of the coaches at the moment who's hoping all that changes. And that's Samuel Sepeng joining us from Pretoria. Samuel, thank you so much uh, for your time this morning. I say a strong squad that South Africa has sent, but is it stronger than the squads or the teams we've sent in the last two editions? Because we need to change something. We need medals uh, this time around. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I would say the squad is, is strong. Uh, being honest with you, when you look at uh, the qualifying standard, you know, it wasn't, it's not an easy qualifying standard. So, on my belief, whoever runs the qualifying standard means he's ready to compete in the competition. Mm. And I see there's a whole lot of names that we are hoping that will get uh, some sort of uh, podium finishes for us. Uh, there's expectation on Sean Maswanga and on Akani Simbi on uh, Wade Fanikerk. Those are the more illuminated names that one would look out for medals from. But is there any others that you're looking at? I know, obviously, you've got about four athletes, I understand, that are part of Team South Africa. You're hoping as well that they'll make uh, podium finishes. Yeah, being honest, like I said before, we, we, this is a competition. You know, it's a championship. Uh, you know, when we look at uh, the previous races, like uh, the European circuit, those Diamond League, you know, our athletes did very well. You know, we can name Mashanga, we can name, you know, Wade Van Nike, like you said, Akanis in Beni. And, and also, uh, like I said before, is 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 an open game. You know, anything can happen on the day. You know, we have Prudence Hodiso on the, on the females 800. You know, she's a competitor. She's, you know, right. She ran 158 when, when eight, if I'm not wrong. And, 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 you know, like I said, is, is it open? You know, she's a, she's, she's, she's strong. She looks good. You know, she prepared very well. So I believe that whoever is in that team is going to give her best and, and, and come with medals. Mm. And in fact, Prudence, you mentioned her at 800 meters. She's one of your athletes uh, that I mentioned you coach going into Team South Africa for this World Championships. There's also Tepo Tite at 1,500. Is, is, is that enough, though? I, I counted about three, only three middle distance runners in, in this list here, uh, uh, Samuel. I'm not too sure if that's enough for... South Africa, where we've always sort of eaten. Uh, you'll remember uh, your brother, Hezekiel, was also a silver medalist in the 800 meters in the Olympics. This is where South Africa has always been strong, the middle distance. But with the names that I've counted here, are we seeing a, a decline or is it, is it part of the reason South Africa is not returning a very good medals haul? I won't say the reason because you said, uh, on my view, we're growing. Uh, you know, the past, the past, I, if I remember correctly, 2019, we have only one athlete, which is was Tepo Titi. And, 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 and the previous one in US, you know, we have Prudence and Tepo. So it uh, is a sign of we grow because this year, there are a couple athletes that are in the team, Ryan Patella, uh, you know, uh, uh, you can name them. So is 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 it shows that like, uh, the medal we're growing and, 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 you know, to add into your statement when you say we've been creating medals into those events, which is true. And, and I believe whoever is in that team, you know, come on, medal is a culture. We know from the Ezekiel Zepeng, from Casta Semenya, you know, you can name them, the late in Bolaile Molaus. You know, those athletes, we knew it like once they are dead, they're going to grip something for us. But, uh, is, uh, is, is, you know, it's something that is growing. It's something that I still believe that the uh, future will have, you know, medals into those events. And, and 
you know, we're doing good at the moment. I would say that because of, you know, having athletes is it, the sign for us. Mm. The, the 2019 edition in Doha coincided with the uh, beginning of COVID-19 and obviously also into the next edition in the USA. Would you say that's been part of the problem? Could, could we point to COVID-19 as the reason South Africa hasn't been doing well? We know the training certainly has been affected or was affected by the global pandemic. Yeah, in that time we had, we had challenges, you know, with the training facilities because most of the things have been closed. But at the same time, we won't blame COVID because I think all the nations, you know, the countries, you know, they face the same situation. Uh, but uh, it's something that we, you know, we took it as, as, as a learning, you know, how to overpower such a things. And uh, like I said before, is 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 something that, I believe this year for sure will come with medals. We have a strong team. You know, everyone, you know, is on board. Everyone will go there and fight, you know, and, and make sure, you know, we come back with something. Mm. What's, what's our realistic target, though? What, what, what can we look at to say, if we've gotten here, we've done well? Uh, for me, I would say two plus, being honest. You know, when I look two. at... Uh, well, you say two, performance. two medals. Uh, three, let's say three. <laughs> ah, I I say well my side, if I, no, no, if I put... Remember, last year we didn't come with, 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 with medals. Yes, but the last so time we had medals, we had six. Okay. So, you know, targeting, targeting, targeting that six. You know, we have to stay positive. Everything is possible. Like I said, we have over 30 athletes that are there. So it's possible for us to have more than six. Uh, and and who, who are you looking at specifically? Uh, I mentioned the names uh, earlier. And your picks for the medals? Uh, I'll go for Akani. I'll go, actually, I'll go on the 100. Chances of us having two is there. Really? Uh, we have Wade for Niger. We have, uh, you know, I looked at Zakani. Uh, Nene. Nene, come on, he's, you know, the recent... Races, he was looking good. You know, chances, like I said, anything is possible. Uh, I don't want to leave Prudence as well. She got chance because she's been competing with those athletes. She knows them. Uh, Ryan and Sepom Athela. You know, we know this is this is, is 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 a championship. You know, anything can happen. Ryan and Sepo, they are also ready. And so for me, whoever is in that squad, you know, he's ready to represent us. Mm, we cannot talk about. Uh, track and field and not touch on Casta Semenya, Samuel and Prudence is running in the 800. We're hoping that she can emulate Casta Semenya uh, who's had success in that particular event in the past. We're hoping that by the time the Olympic Games uh, arrives next year, we can have something solid with regards to her return. But do you think realistically as a coach Physically, Casta Semenya can still get there. It's possible. You know, it's, it's about the person. You know, if, if, if I touch a little bit into soccer, Ronaldo is 38, if not mistaken, and he's still, he's still performing, you know, like he's, he's 20s. So everything is possible. It's up to the person. And knowing Casta, she's a strong person. You know, if she wants to do something, she will go for it. So it, there's still a chance. Is there anything that you have tried to impart or uh, get into Prudence mentally in as far as her going to the world champs that Casta Semenya maybe used very well when you were with her as coach? Uh, yes, we did the, you know, the preparation for the world champ. For us, I'm happy with that as a coach and uh, you know, she looks good. Uh, like I said, she's not afraid of anyone. You know, she's been competing with those athletes. She ran with them a couple of races in, in, in Europe and, you know, by winning them. So to us, we went with a positive uh, approach in terms of, you know, knowing very well 800 is, 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 is an event that we know, you know, like Malawi, Ezekiel, Kasta, they came with medals in, those, in that event. And uh, she knows very well prudence in her career of running might happen this year. It might happen next year, but like I said, she's she's ready. 
you know, whatever happens in that, she'll be ready, she will attack. Hopefully she'll be ready and attack and get to the podium and come back with gold to South Africa. Her and a lot of the other athletes that are representing South Africa there. Samuel, thank you so much for your time. And we're hoping that your athletes uh, really do what needs to be done for South Africa.